So once I've got my uh, feature class set up, I can begin to do some digitizing or capturing this information. One thing I want to do when I digitize a polygon is to set that polygon to have no fill color uh, so that I can easily see the air photo uh, beneath my image. So I'm going to go ahead and make my land cover uh, empty with a red line and I'm going to start editing and I'm going to uh, click on land cover choose OK start editing land cover and continue when I click on land cover I'm given some options polygons rectangles um, and autocomplete and we'll be using polygon and autocomplete and I'm going to move this window over here the other thing we can do is set up the snapping environment um, and we're going to use some snapping uh, with the parcels so that I can make sure that my uh, parcels try to uh, line up as much as possible. So there's a couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this, keep moving this thing around, I'll make you dizzy. I'm going to start uh, with this parcel and um, actually no, I'm going to start with this larger parcel and I'm going to try and clip this parcel uh, around here and I'm going to purposely ignore this corner and I'll show you why in a minute and go around this line um, and so I'm going to turn on uh, edge snapping so these should be off and so I'm going to turn on edge snapping uh, I've got my editor started I'm going to use the magnifier window which lets me uh, zoom in on an area that I want to begin and this is the plowed line and I'm going to try and uh, digitize along this area of the map so I'm going to start uh, oops go back over to land cover click on the polygon and now I can begin to insert my vertices here and you can see that uh, that vertice snapped to the edge of my map when I got close. Now here's where I'm going to diverge a little bit. I want to go around this bare grass polygon. So the more vertices I enter the smoother job I can get with the curves and we get to go back in later and fix some of these up oops and I want to go ahead and uh, actually undo one of those so I'm going to right click and delete that vertice and delete that vertice and I want to end this polygon uh, I want to continue. Oh. Oops. I think I closed in on myself, which is not what I wanted to do. So I'm going to go back and delete that. And delete that. There we go. So I don't want to snap. So sometimes snapping uh, can can really make it difficult to get close to an area because it just jumps and I don't want to snap to that line yet so I want to go all the way around uh, there we go and I think at some point I'm going to turn that edge snapping back on And as long as I'm following this line, I should be able just to snap uh, right to the corner of the line. And again here, I'm going to come down to the road.
pause for you here. And then if I double click, that ends that polygon. Now this polygon is highlighted and I can go up to the attribute table and now I can choose from my uh, menu what is the attribute I want for that feature and this is planted so we're going to leave it at that and choose save those edits. Now I've got this pond here in the middle and what I'm going to do is a clip so I'm going to start editing again click on the polygon and I'm going to try to go around to the high water mark of my pond and I'm going to double click that and I'm going to call that water and save the edit. Now the thing that I can do in my table of contents, which is under my video window here, let me see, there we go, is if I open up my attribute table, I can see that my pond is selected and it's underneath the other uh, layer that I did earlier. So under the editor menu, I can choose clip and I'm going to use no buffer and what I end up having now are two separate attributes so I've got basically a hole in the in uh, complete coincident edges on this pond so we're going to do another uh, complete polygon. So rather than try to trace this area again, I can use the polygon completion option. I'm going to go back to create fe features and I'm going to scroll down here to auto complete polygon and I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. And I'm going to do this in two pieces, one for this polygon and one for the other polygon. So I click on autocomplete. Um, I'm going to start in this polygon, go up to my edge, and double click into the next polygon. And I now have completed this area and just picked up that line. So this is my natural grass planting. So you're going to save your edits um, and then stop editing. You can unselect uh, that feature. So now when you've, when you've done all the editing and you've, you've indicated all of the different land areas, you can go to uh, categories symbols and have your, um, have your features mapped by the different categories. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the bookmark and you see that the water feature has been singled out as water um, this would be my my grass and as you finish the rest of these um, you'll have uh, you'll have all of your area mapped